Crime is the biggest detriment to the city of Monroe when it comes to development. We want opportunity and jobs. We must ensure we get this decision correct. That's what I've been charged to do. And that's why I'm going to come to you as many times as possible and I ask. <laughs> It's for that reason Mayor Friday Ellis wanted to open up the search for Monroe's next chief of police. If you remember, Eugene Ellis was brought out of retirement a couple of weeks ago to serve again as the interim chief. Now the search continues for the person who will hold that spot in a more permanent role. Fox 14's Chelsea Jones was at tonight's Civil Service Board meeting with more on why they're doing this and how people feel about it. Three Monroe police officers will now face some competition for who will be Monroe's next top cop. Do you think three people are enough to determine who would be the best police chief of the city of Monroe? I don't think it is. Tuesday, Mayor Friday Ellis asked the Monroe Civil Service Board to consider expanding the search again. Why? He says for no other reason than to get a larger group of people. Well, let's put this thing in Baton Rouge, and let's put it in Lafayette, and let's put it in New Orleans. Sometimes as many as three or four states had that information. The Silver Service Board voted in a 3-2 vote, approving the mayor's request. So qualified applicants will join Reggie Brown, Charles Johnson, and Thomas Rhodes in the fight. Competition brings out the best in people, and the more people that you have, Buying for a job, it's, it's only going to increase your opportunity. But some say it's not fair to change things up this late in the game. For you to ask to extend this test is saying that they're not worthy of being the police chief. The mayor responding to this allegation saying it's not personal and he doesn't have anyone in mind. No, I don't. Instead, he says crime is a problem and the city needs a chief to take a hold of the issue. Especially in the times we're in, I, I keep saying that, you know, what if, what if CenturyLink is trying to recruit an African-American software engineer? What are they going to see when they Google Monroe, Louisiana right now? So he plans to go door to door to gain the public support. The citizens of Monroe. The Monroe Police Department deserves the absolute best. Interim Chief Ellis says if it takes more time and an extra test, it's worth it. In Monroe, Chelsea Jones, Fox 14 News. The expanded search will last for 30 days. This time will be used to advertise for the role and for people who are interested to apply. Once those who qualify for the new applicant pool are accepted, they will immediately be tested. Those who pass will then enter the interview phase.